What's up guys? This is my 4th of July YouTube special. Um, for those of you watching in other countries, 4th of July is a nationally celebrated holiday in the United States. Um, it represents when the United States gained independence from Great Britain in 1776. So here in the United States, we celebrate by doing 4th of July, barbecuing, doing, um, sorry, by doing 4th of July, what an idiot. <laughs> by doing fireworks, barbecues, hanging out with family, friends, uh, dressing up in funny red, white, and blue outfits. Um, so I wanted to do a 4th of July makeup special for you. So it was themed with um, blue and kind of sparkly silver you can see, and these really fun eyelashes. And the other cool thing about this um, tutorial is that I got everything at CVS because I had some requests that. Of people that said you know I love all the stuff that you do but I can't really afford to go get Mac makeup and typically I use Mac makeup just because I've gotten a discount there and used it for the last 10 years um, through my um, makeup artist discount that's why I've always used that but I'm excited to get to use other brands for all my YouTube videos so you guys can check out everything and I can actually expand um, what I do by using other brands of makeup and checking out how other things work and I actually loved how all this stuff came out and everything was from CVS so I hope you like it please um, subscribe to my channel write comments like um, please ask any questions you have about how to or if you need help or if you can't figure out how to do something and I'll try to respond to you as quickly as possible I hope everyone has a safe 4th of July and please don't drink and drive and stay safe So the cool thing about today is that all the makeup that I'm using is from the drugstore. Um, I'm going to use this Maybelline Eye Studio. It has a bunch of different blue colors in it. And I'm going to use this base, which is the Color Tattoo 24 Hour Maybelline. Look how cool that blue is. And I use this brow pencil also Maybelline and I used voluminous carbon black on my eyelashes already and for my blush that I put on was also Maybelline and this is what color is this medium pink and then I used true match Lumi on my face um, I think I used nude beige and then I used Revlon Color Stay Concealer under my eyes and right here and down the bridge of my nose. And then I set my foundation with this um, Neutrogena, Neutrogena Mineral Sheer Powder Foundation. It has SPF 20 in it. So let's get started. I always say you need to start off with a base on your eyes because if you don't, the eyeshadow doesn't blend well. It will crease in your eyes as the day goes on and you release oil. So I'm actually totally loving this stuff. I have never even really used anything from a drugstore because I get a discount at MAC being a hair stylist and makeup artist. So I've just always used that. So I'm kind of excited to be doing all these YouTube videos and being being able to try different brands and different products from other companies and I will tell you actually this Maybelline um, base that I'm using um, is very comparable to the stuff that MAC has okay so let's start off with the base spreading it all over your lid and it's not gonna fully go on smooth it'll look kind of transparent in certain spots but just keep spreading it over your eyelid I love any sort of occasion to be able to do fun makeup because normally I don't wear this kind of makeup on a daily basis but I love like 4th of July I love Halloween where I get to really step out of the box and do fun stuff because on clients when I'm doing hair and makeup, I'm usually doing it for film and TV, and most stuff that we're doing is not 
crazy, fun, funky blue eyeshadow like this. I'm also going to put it underneath my eye for when I put the colors underneath. I'm going to put it in my tear duct area. Okay, now we're spread. So I only went up to about underneath my brow bone right here with the base color. So now, the first color I'm gonna use is this blue one right here. The one on the very bottom. It's kinda like a frosty, light blue color. I'm gonna go in in the inner tear duct area and look at how pretty that is going over that blue base and having that light blue frosty color I just love it and then to make the inner corner of my eye pop I'm going to use this silver color right here the one at the very top and it's kind of glittery. And I close my eye and then go on top and bottom at the same time so when your eye opens up and spreads apart, it's equal on both sides. And I just want a little bit more on there. I just love that. It's so fun. Look at how much it pops. I love this. And then I'm going to use the dark color, which is right here. And this dark color is going to go on the outside. I'm also going to pick up that light blue color again that I first put in right here, the frosty blue one, and I'm actually going to blend it back into the dark blue. So I'm going to take this light blue frosty one on the bottom, and don't worry about this fallout, and actually put this on before you even put your foundation on. I just put the foundation on just for YouTube purposes, but because look, you can totally see that it falls out. So I'm going to blend that light frosty blue back into that navy color. And now this line right here, if you can see, is kind of a hard line. And you want to make sure you blend that good. So then we're going to take this blue color on the outside. and blend it in right here with this awesome blending brush. I'm gonna go all over the lower part of my brow bone. And now I've totally blended in that line that I had there. And then I'm going to highlight underneath my brow bone again with the very bottom blue frosty color right underneath just a tiny bit. And then we're going to finish off the underneath. The outer corner, there's this cool kind of um, periwinkle blue sparkly color 
and when it goes over that blue base that I already have down, it just kind of highlights it. So I'm gonna put that on the outer corner underneath. And then again, I'm gonna use that blue frosty color to blend it in on the inner part right here. And you just kind of mush the two together right here. So now I have the frosty sparkly color right here, the frosty light blue, and the sparkly dark blue on the outer corner which matches the top up here. And then I'm gonna use my fan brush to kind of dust that off. And then um, before I even started, I lined the inside of my eye with black just to kind of make it darker. And my favorite thing is these lashes that I just picked up. And all this stuff, by the way, I got at CVS. Katy Perry has her own eyelash brand, and I'm a huge fan of any sort of eyelashes. Um, they look like this, the box. And the actual lashes are so freaking cool. They look like that, and they have black and blue in them. And if you can see on my eye, they totally accentuate this blue shadow that we're doing. And it actually already comes with a uh, adhesive. I will tell you though, these lashes, because they're a double lash and they have two different kind of lashes in there, the strip that you actually apply it on is quite thick. So you really need to make sure that your glue dries well and that you put bend in them. I'm going to show you, um, wow, these are so cool. I love them. I am going to cut the outer edge off because whenever you get lashes, they're always too long lengthwise going across your eye. So I'm just gonna cut off a tiny bit right here. And then I'm gonna bend these, which will also help when I put them on, have some bend in them, because that strip is so thick. And then I'm gonna apply my Duo Favorite Lash Glue. I use the dark colored one because if it gets anywhere, I can cover it up with eyeliner. See how much effort I'm really putting into drying these? Okay, now, if you guys have watched my other um, how to apply eyelashes like a pro, um, you can see I it's a little easier to put on other kind of eyelashes that have a thinner line right here than these ones. So if you feel like these are too hard, you can get regular eyelashes. Watch my other video, how to apply eyelashes like a pro, and it will really help you out. So, okay, I'm gonna place these on now holding the inner part and the outer part, placing it in the center. And they're not fully on, they're just kind of sitting there. So I can slide them back and forth if I need to. I just wanna make sure they're centered on my eye. And then I'm going to tilt them down and push these on. And I'm actually going to pinch them onto my eye. Again, because that band is so thick on there. And don't get discouraged if you're using these ones because, I mean, they're difficult even for me to put on. But if you can see how it totally changes the look of the eyeshadow, I mean, it just really makes the whole look just pop and stand out and it's so cool because these lashes have the little blue pieces in them and actually sometimes i'd put mascara on them but because it has a blue in there you don't want to put mascara on them and you really don't even need to i mean they're so full and amazing okay so now we're going to finish it off 
with this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner with an angle brush. I'm just kind of putting it in there like this. And it is very difficult to apply eyeliner in the mirror while you're doing these YouTube videos, I have to tell you. So if it's not perfect, that's why. I'm going to pull the corner out a little bit to make my eye look bigger and longer. And then I'm going to also bring it in in the underneath corner of my eye to define it just a tiny bit more. And now since I have this um, really bold eye going on, I don't want to do like a super like bold lip. I'm, I'm actually a fan of lighter lips myself. So I'm gonna use this Revlon Color Stay. What is this? Blush Rose Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna use this Revlon. I love this color. I love these peachy colors for summer and spring. What is this color? Pink Lemonade. What a cute name. And then just to give it some shine, I'm gonna use this um, L'Oreal Paris Inflatable, Infallible, not inflatable, just kidding, I'm thinking of blow up dolls. Uh, <laughs> L'Oreal Paris Infallible Gel Gloss. And what color is this? Uh, blush. There you go, and that's your 4th of July look. Uh, please like, subscribe, and check out my channel. Please leave any comments you have or any questions. I'd love to help you guys out if you're trying it at home in the next couple days before 4th of July. You want to do a test run. Um, please leave any questions or comments, and I will totally help you out what I can.